ladies and gentlemen i'm mohit bhadwa you guys are watching z news english and this is the new citra c3 air cross well this car is targeted to rival the hyundai creta maruti suzuki grand vitara kia seltos maruti suzuki artiga and kia karens as well why because it comes with three row of seats as well for now i'll start off with styling and a warning i'm going to use the alphabet f a lot of times in this video why because this car comes from a french car maker and it's funky and it is supposed to be feature rich well let's kicking things off design first you can see that it gets a chevron logo right here on the bonnet a square elements in the grill and even around the lower air dam you get a lot of square elements silver satin finish for this cuff plate that accentuates the overall appeal of this nose which apparently is very bold and macho looking what do you guys think of this design let us know in the comments below for now i'll move towards the side to tell you what's there and i have to start off with alloy wheels because these alloy wheels well they are 17 inches and they get a 215 70 section tire and let me tell you they look neat why because they fill the arches well and the arches also come with black cladding which runs across the length and on to the door you get this chunky cladding as well which comes with this tiny mini color coordinated inserts and if we talk of door handles well they are not pull to open type instead you get these lift to open door handles not a big fan of them but the overall profile looks really neat you get this dual tone paint finish and there will be multiple color options available when this car goes on sale the roof rails they are chunky if they are functional or not citro has not unveiled or revealed that information to us however this c pillar it's very thick and there's a lot of visual bulk here but apparently citro has tried to hard this visual bulk rather neatly how with these creases and these surfaces at a length of 4.3 meters this tail section is nearly flat but you do get this black applique which certainly looks nice and these tail lamps they are bold they are squarish of course funky but what do you guys think of this design as a whole again let us know in the comments below what i certainly like about this design is this extended rear spoiler and you get a shark fin antenna also the scuff plate adds to the boldness and if we talk of interiors i'm going to start with the boot space here itself and well it's a 5 plus 2 seater and you can see that there's not a lot of boot space on offer but you can fold down these seats they come with 50 50 split function and interestingly they are individual seats and with this the boot space can go up to a class leading 500 and 11 liters and now let's sit inside now after waiting for so long we are finally inside the citro c3 air cross and what i can see is that this place feels familiar familiar to the citro c3 the dashboard is identical you get the same multi texture finish for the dashboard the ac vents they are same There's no automatic climate control over here. You get this manual HVAC controls. The steering wheel, it's the same. You don't get cruise control buttons on it. The instrument cluster, however, is new. It's an all-digital unit, and this touchscreen, again, it is very much like the Citro C3. It is a 10-inch unit and comes with screen mirroring options. The seats, they're very much Citro. They feel comfortable, and I'm damn sure that the suspension of this car will be one of the softest or i should rather say one of the most comfortable ride qualities what it is expected to offer sadly there's no sunroof here but in seven seat option you do get roof mounted ac vents you want to see them let me hop on to the rear bench there the second row seat on the citro c3 i feel is not the widest in the segment but it certainly is spacious there's ample amount of leg room knee room headroom is great as well but what i like the most about the second row of seats 
you get your own individual AC vents. In fact, there's a three-speed blower control over here. Although it misses out on ventilated seat, but this is quite a nice feature. In fact, this is much better than sunroof, I think. What are your opinions about that? Just like the sunroof, there's no space on the third row and Citroen is not claiming that a lot of it would be available on the third row because what they're saying, this is a 5 plus 2 seater and the third row of seats, they're best suited for kids. So don't have much expectations from these seats, but nonetheless, they are very much comfortable. And you also get two USB chargers with two cup holders. Neat affair, I should say. Now let's talk about the performance and pop up that bonnet. Well, Citro hasn't revealed much about it, but you can have a look that it gets a 1.2 litre three cylinder turbo petrol motor, which is expected to put out 120 PS or something northwards of that. Why am I saying so? Because the C3, it comes with the same engine in a lower state of tune putting out 110 PS only. An automatic gearbox is anticipated, but sadly it is not available on the C3. So little tough to comment on that note. Now talking of its pricing, we're expecting a starting price of a shade under rupees 10 lakh, which might go up to rupees 15 lakh. And that way, the car will rival against the likes of aforementioned names, Maruti Suzuki Grand Vitara, Hyundai Creta, Kia Seltos, of course, the XL6 and the Kia Carens. Well, I'm certainly impressed by the design because this car actually looks a little funky. And I think that was all about this. I'm your host, Mohit Bhagwaj. We'll take a leap. Take care.